Hi, my name is Holly O'Donoghue and I love Limerick. It's ilovelimerick.com, it's Michelle McMahon here and as we know Limerick hosts to a wealth of musical talent at any time and its latest and brightest star is Holly O'Donoghue, she joins me. Holly, thank you for talking to us. No problem at all. Holly has invited herself into your living rooms for the next while, she's going to be on the RTE series uh, finding two new stars for Fame the Musical. Holly, tell us a little bit about how, uh, how long you've been doing musical theatre and how you got started. Well, I started when I was about eight um, with Expressive Arts Theatre School and ever since I've just been involved all the time. Moved to Centre Stage Theatre School, then after that started working with Richie Ryan um, teaching. So I've been involved like for ages. <laughs> was, it, was it always something, even, even you know, as a child, going, yeah, I, that's definitely for yeah, me. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like, I, I remember my mom brought me to see Annie when I was about seven and just after that I was in UCH and like I, I know Expressive Arts was, was in it and I just I remember she bought me the DVD afterwards and that's when I was like oh I want to go to Expressive Arts now and yeah that's all I've been doing really. Yeah. So and when it came to, to after school you know was it was it an option to maybe try and go full-time professional with this because because I know you're studying at the moment and you're yeah. not studying theatre right now. I'm, I'm not studying theatre now, but um, when I finished school, I tried to audition um, for schools in London, but never really, um, I didn't actually get in. Like, I always got the callbacks and everything, but um, I didn't actually get there in the end, really, so. And that is the downside of, you know, any anything that's performance related, you know, yeah. there, there's going to be 101 people going for every part and one is only ever going to get it, so for everyone you do, there's going to be a few that... that exactly, yeah. It was, it was that tough to, to deal with at the beginning? Um, definitely at the start because I was just uh, like out of school and I was like oh I'm going to go to drama school and everything's going to be amazing but that's not how it works out I mean you go over and there's about a hundred people in the same boat as you and there's only like 30 places at drama school every year anyway so I mean there's just I'm just one more person like um, trying to you know do musical theatre as a career and stuff so. So what did you decide to study then? I went into Mary Eye doing early childcare, which is good as well because I mean I'm teaching in centre stage with kids, so I mean it's still on the same line, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Always keep it on the same line. So certainly anyone you know who's familiar with the. the, the a theatre scene and that in Limerick and, and musicals and all that you, you're always there you know you're, you're extremely <laughs> popular on that front so do you always seem to have something going on outside of your college work as well yeah with that? always always busy outside of college which kind of be it kind of be bad sometimes because um, I have loads of assignments to do <laughs> but yeah no keeping busy outside of college always getting involved um, Limerick Musical Society Sicilians and so if it comes down to it and there's an exam due in the morning or you've got to have a piece ready for a rehearsal the next day which one gets priority um, I'd say I do a bit of both. Oh, safe answer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's clever, yeah, she's yeah. really clever. <laughs> and then uh, this search came about for, for fame. Um, it's 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 going to be the first musical of its kind on in this scale in this country. Yeah. Uh, was it an immediate, yeah, I'm there, I'm doing it? Or did you did you think about it? Yeah, I thought about it. Um, I remember I was at my friend's house and I started getting like all these text messages saying um, there was an interview with Derek Mooney on, I think it was the Late Late Show, about fame and about the audition. So I didn't actually know about it until all my friends were texting me saying, you have to go for this audition, you have to go. So and we're, we're at the live, sh uh, live shows now at that stage, but we, we would have seen you on screen in uh, two major appearances so far. The first audition, which, you know, you obviously got through, you did really, really well, but yeah. they weren't exactly gushing yeah. either. They weren't the nicest of judges <laughs> to you. Was, was that a bit tough to see that? Um, I'm not sure. I think when you're at an audition, I think it, like what they say kind of goes over your head a little bit. So you're just kind of like, they're talking to you, but you're just like so nervous because you're at an audition. Um, I think one of the judges was, wasn't really fond of me at the start. Um, but then I think at boot, at boot camp, I, I don't know if I changed his mind or not, but... Well, it would appear so, because then when it came to the show where it was the final 12, you know, you were very clearly left as the last one on the show to get <laughs> there, there was a big story behind this. You made the, the, the mean judge cry. <laughs> I, and I in a good way. <laughs> I don't know if it was a good or bad, but yeah. Um, I didn't actually know he was um, 
going to, like, I didn't know he cried because um, I had left the audition at that stage, but I was over the moon when I saw it on TV because um, he didn't show any emotion whatsoever. He didn't even talk to me like he's very um, kind of your Simon Cowell type of judge, so um, couldn't believe it. Really couldn't. No, it was. It was amazing. And I cried a little bit watching it at home too. I think everybody did. It was really sweet. So there is basically 60 minutes every Sunday evening for the next while where you can make sure our Holly makes it to fame. And she is Serena. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you so us. much, guys. Holly O'Donoghue on ilovelimerick.com.